to use internal or external resources to perform the tests depending on the in-house expertise or even lack thereof, right? So um, it's about using external, uh, internal and external resources. Um, and then the next one is gather or explicit performance, okay? Gathered or illicit or explicit performance requirements specification from users and or business analysts. Now, a good example of this uh, second subject is alpha and beta testing, right? When you do alpha and beta testing, you are gathering performance requirement testing. But don't get confused because alpha and beta testing can be connotated with functionality testing as well, where we want to come back and go like, no, what is the, what is the performance testing? What is the alpha and beta performance testing of this whole subject? You know what I mean? So that is the third one is developing a high level plan or project charter including requirements resources timing milestones um you know how long is this going to take when is this going to be done no so your your time your your um when before you get to the actual phase of testing your preparation has got to be 110 percent otherwise this won't work right um, so development plan. When we talk about development plan, we talk about time, milestones, uh, project plan, project you know managers, uh, that kind of stuff. So that is develop um, of a high level plan. And then another thing we we look at is a detailed performance test plan. So you get two. You get a high level plan, uh, development plan, and then a test plan. Now the test plan include detailed scenarios and test cases workloads, environments, info, etc. So the first one, which is a high-level test plan, would be uh, resources, requirements, timelines, milestones, etc., etc., where the, the performance test plan would be more, um, the performance test plan will be more as into what will be tested, right? Detailed scenarios, what scenarios will be covered, what test cases, what workloads, environments, and so on. So do you understand why um, you know, tasks undertake is such an important role? Do you understand why your theory has got to be so important? Because if you don't have a theory, then this is not going to work, right? So um, another thing that you can have a look at is, uh, or another subject task undertake is choose the right testing tool. I mean, there's so many testing tools out there, and you know, on top of my head, JMeter, um, the one that we're covering right now, and you know, a couple more. Um, it is important to choose the right testing tool, right? Because if you don't have the right testing tool, then it's not going to work. Um, and then the next one is test data. So it, when we talk about test data, it says specify test data needed to charter um, effort, often overlooked but often the, de the death of a valid performance test so specify data needed like that's also pretty important because if you don't specify the test data then um you know the whole testing uh, which is normally quite expensive is a waste of time and money so uh the next one is proof of concept and develop a proof of concept script for each application component under tests using or choosing test tools and strategies okay um, and the next one is performance project plan, and it's uh, basically develop detailed performance test project plan, including all dependencies and show associated within the timeline. So when you do this testing, do you see how how much theory and how much methodology goes into doing a simple uh, software test? You can't just go, oh, okay, let's go on, let's start, let's let's do this, right? There's so many. Um, base things that you have to cover before actually doing the testing, right? Um, project plans, detailed high-level plan, uh, detailed performance test plan, and so on and so on. So after we've done that, the next thing that we need to do is install all the configured injection and controllers. So I, I kind of just left it as uh, uh, injectors and controllers, and then configure the test environment Ideally identical to hardware and production platform, router configuration, quiet network. Now, when we talk about quiet network, it's normally we don't want results upset by the users, right? Uh, so you want a nice and quiet environment, a separated lab where you can run your testing on, deployment of server um, instruments, right? Database tests, database development, um, database querying, and so forth, and so forth. It goes on and on and on. But what I want you to remember is configuring your test environment, right? So that is important. And then uh, execute tests. And when we talk about execute tests, it's probably repeatedly um, in order to see whether any unaccountable, um, 
or unaccounted for factor might affect the result. So when we say execute test, we kind of have a look at what can, you know, what can get in, but what is the results, right? We're executing the tests and then um, we're actually doing it, right? And then the last one is analyze the results. Um, either pass or fail in your testing, because you can always get pass or you can get fail. And then um, once you fail, right, you got to get back to square one. That's why we're doing testing. You got to figure out what has failed. You got to report it, a detailed document, and you got to get back to it. If it succeeds, you move on to the next step, right? And um, when you pass or fail, or investigation of critical path is recommended to go, you know, corrective action. So that is kind of it. So I kind of, you know, put down a little. Um, a little chart here to understand it a bit more and it basically says right at the top uh, it says requirements and analysts um, it's basically the business process engineering user requirements electrification um, and NFR requirements collation now NFR stands for non functionality or non functional requirements and then it moves down to the design now it's the application architecture functional design database design hardware and software planning and you know it's a whole done thing about developing or de designing the developing phase designing the the, the scope designing the the detailed plan right then it goes to the coding testing um condition setup independent testing so the code when we talk about code it's kind of like okay it gets developed and then we get to the phase where it's actually the test and when we get to the test it is functionality testing, release management, and production environment setup. Important, guys, important. So it is performance testing, which is production environment setup, release management, and functionality testing. Then implement and deploy. If, if it was successful, if not, go back to code or go back to design. Implement and deploy, and then once it's done, you know, the arrow between implement and the deploy is kind of the, you know, the phase where it's, you know, um, it's out there, right? People are using it. And then in, in future, you have to keep on maintenance. You've got to keep on with your maintaining. And um, when we talk about maintain, we talk about what? Well, we talk about code, right? If you want to maintain something, you've got to add and remove code. If you want to add and remove code, you've got to retest it, right? You can't just add and remove code and skip the testing part. That's not going to work. So with the maintain, with the maintain in, in, in uh, quotation marks, you go back to design code test, design code test. That's a, a <laughs> kind of like a visual cir circle um, that normally involves, especially large um, corporations like Facebook, right? They've got a constant, constant design code test, maintain design code test, and it goes on and on and on. So that is basically performance testing, and that is, you know, in essence, what, what we will be covering. Um, in the next video, we will talk about methodology. Uh, when we talk about methodology, it will be performance testing with applications so, and with web applications. So we're getting more into the, the grind, and once we're in the grind, we will start with the software and the tools. So that was performance testing.